yeah, good sir. Well, I've had no coffee all day. Why have you had no coffee? Because I've been anxious the last couple of days. Oh. Quite simply. Okay, what have you been anxious about? Just, I've got anxiety disorder. <laughs> it's what happens. <laughs> okay. No, nothing, no, nothing. I, I have been drinking too much coffee. I'm yeah, all, I mean, always uh, chasing highs. Oh yeah, I've picked up on that yeah. several times and told you yeah. five, six, seven cups a day is. Yeah. is, is, is well, I haven't even been drinking that much recently, but it, like at work, I'll have a strong coffee when I get there, like a double shot, mm -hmm. and then, um, and then there's been a couple of days where I have a double espresso straight about half an hour later, and then I'll have one later, and then later on in the afternoon, I've been good where I've been doing a thing where I've not been drinking it plus midnight but for some reason whenever I go to a, on, just repeat that not midnight sorry past midday okay. and it, but when I go to a meeting um, someone I always say don't have a coffee don't have a coffee because it affects me sharing coffee. back as well because I, yeah. I come over a bit awkward and jittery when I'm mm -hmm. sharing after a coffee as well yeah. but someone goes do you want a coffee and I'll go yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no no I just I just experiment and I like to set myself little challenges and that as well and mm -hmm. I want to give up coffee for a little bit but yeah I reckon there's going to be some withdrawal I think some of that anxiety's come from not I haven't had any sugar or bread in the last like eight, Good. eight days and yeah. I think some of that anxiety's come from that yeah it is a massive change to your body isn't it it is mate, yeah, sort of things. it's probably a bit um, of withdrawal yeah it's, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big change to make I mean that's what I I stand by that. No, no bread, no sugar. But I mean, I can't. Yeah. I can't resist the sugar, mate. I really struggle with it. Yeah. Um, bread's well, everywhere and it's hidden in everything. As yeah. Well, Bre it? Bread I manage quite well, um, but sugar is really difficult. Yeah. That's, um, that's a daily battle. Um, mm. But like I said to you earlier today, um, I was quite intrigued by your cravings facts you put in the other day around. Um, yeah. Now, any cra any sort of craving, whether yeah. that be um, alcohol, drugs, or even just like food, like yeah. food things like chocolate, or some people get crave cravings of that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, that only lasts for it, it, it lasts between three and five minutes. A craving of, yeah. of each one. Sometimes you get craving straight away after another one. Mm -hmm. But you just got to remember, it's only a craving, and it will only last a short amount of time. If you yeah. get past it, then. Um, Oh, that, our guest is here. <laughs> if, okay. Yeah, if you can get past that craving, um, if you're in recovery, you've been for a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If yeah, you, yeah. Uh, but that goes. It's just not for people in recovery. It's people if they want to give up smoking or or if you're eating too much and giving up sugar like I am or coffee and that, yeah. you will get cravings for things, especially you if they become a habit. 100%. And you just got to know that it won't it won't last. Yeah. It won't. Yeah, absolutely. I'll go and let Harry in, and then so we'll. Who is Harry? Quickly. Um, Harry is a guy I used to work with. He's struggled and um, with mental health in the past. And before I started doing any of these podcasts and that, he opened up to me, and we had a chat a long time ago. And yep. um, I haven't seen him for a while, but I kept his number because I said a long, long time ago, I'm gonna start a podcast one day, and when I do, you should come on it. And he said, yeah, and Boom. here we are. Do <laughs> ways like and subscribe on YouTube and Spotify. Dare to talk. Um, I am Jackie Boy Shep on Instagram. Sam is dare underscore two underscore dip uh, because he's absolutely useless at remembering and saying it. Um, dare to dip on Facebook. Uh, like and subscribe. We're up to about 46, 47 episodes now. Um, you can listen back to all the previous guests. Some really, really good ones in the in previously and in the pipeline to come up. Um, so please enjoy the episode with Harry. We're just explaining to Harry, our guest, how hot it is in my flat. Me and Jack have been out since 6.30 this morning. Whoa. We went and done the dip, and yeah. I, I cranked the heating on to get for when I got back for the dip, left the house straight away and forgot about it. Whoa. It's hot, isn't it? It's and we can't open mate. we can't open the window either because you can hear all the traffic. We've had a long day, lots of walking. Yeah, lots of walking. Lots we went we yes. went to the cinema. Sort of whale. We went sort of whale, and he goes to me, "Don't, don't cry in this movie." Well, yeah, I was crying in the trailer. Oh, well, <laughs> and there was a trailer of a different film. Of, um, put loads of weight on, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good. Good. Yeah. It, it is. It's, 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 it's strange. It's not what I expected. No, it's but it's very sad. I was blub blubbering like a baby. Oh, yeah. But he said to me, "Don't cry." <laughs> and there was a trailer of a different film before it, and I was like, "Yeah, it was sad. It's a sad film, isn't it? Yeah, but." 
asked anywho. Yeah. <laughs> and you're I down don't... the sea, so you're down in the sea this morning. Yeah, half six. you were, mate. Half six. A bit yeah. cold. Poor. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we I, I needed it. You yeah, needed definitely. It. I'm absolutely knackered though. I haven't had a coffee all day today. I was just explaining that in the intro before we turned up, so I'm a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> I ain't got one going. Huh? I ain't got a little coffee going. I'm not drinking it at the minute. It's a long story. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. You're off the cliff. Giving it all well. up, mate. I'm going to start putting videos up. <laughs> when was the last time I saw you? Was that Ipswich trying it? And I'm in the queue to get some beers. Yeah. And I thought you, I thought you just saw me and hopped in the queue because the queue was like miles long, weren't it? Yeah. It took about 10 minutes to get a beer at town. Yeah. That was a good game, that, wasn't it? Yeah. How have you been anyway? That was yeah, the, mate. No, I only saw it. you briefly yeah, then. Yeah. We hadn't seen each other for a while. Like, I, was, I was thinking this morning, last time I saw you, was when we worked down at the warehouse, weren't it? Yeah. And I was sharp, oh, mate. I was in a rough old spot yeah. because I was like thinking about it, like come from where I come from, like you know when we talked about like me killing my yeah. trying to kill myself and everything. Yeah. I sat in that whatever it's called VNA. Yeah. And I go right to the top and mate, the amount of times I was just sitting there going, oh fuck it, I might as well just pull the thing up and jump. Yeah. I can't be asked for this. Well, even then, because you were talking yeah. to me back then. Even so. now, yeah. even now, I wake up some mornings. And I think to myself, nah, fuck it. Life's not worth living. I'm mm. just going to fucking crash into a tree or something. Even now. Really? Do you know, it's mental. Because I've been thinking about it a lot. Because obviously, with this podcast stuff, you want to talk about Like, I don't think there's a day not gone by where I don't think about topping myself. Really? Yeah. What, would it, you what, act out on it? Or? I think it's anxiety in the morning, you know what I mean? Like, every mm. morning. You get that every morning. I don't know how like, everyone else deals with it. But every morning I wake up, mm. it's like that first two hours normally the drive to work or do you know mm. what I mean I'm sitting there going fucking hell this is going wrong or this is going wrong this might not right work, mate. Yeah. do, do yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah you're not you're not even thinking about work yeah. even though my job like so with anxiety I have to in my job I have to talk to people my anxiety is like fuck I've got to go say sell this to someone mm. I'm not a salesperson yeah. I'm just a good waffler I mm. can just waffle for ages about anything Yeah. and like I don't even think about that but I'll sit there, 10 o'clock at night, in bed, tucked up, ready to go to sleep, and in my head I'll be going, oh, I've got to talk to that dickhead. Mm. Oh, fuck, I've got to talk to that dickhead. Yeah, so it creates your anxiety. Before yeah, yeah, and do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, no, it's the morning and night, but during the day, I'll forget about it. It's yeah. weird, and I, and I don't know if anyone else is Well, like, that's why it's so important, I think, to, uh, to create a decent evening routine and a decent morning yeah. routine that's why I do the cold water in the morning wake up doing some breathing before I even get I, I'd normally sleep on here because my kids always have me room but <laughs> I, I, I get up I do my breathing exercises straight away get in the cold water I don't don't like debate it with myself if I, I, I do it because if not I get stuck in a rut like oh, I've got to do this yeah. take it there. and it, one thought leads on to another it's so crucial to, to do that mate especially if you're feeling like that still and then thoughts are coming it's that dirty it. tip I've been like, sitting there going I should really go down there you should, especially if you're feeling you know like that if I'm mate. feeling like that mm. there's no excuse for me just yeah. to do it I'll tell you yeah. what mate like that those that drive to work thing that you mentioned I had that I had that for a long while um in fact, I had it probably just prior to when I started coming down the dip with you, mm. um, and that was every day. But that was because my morning routine wasn't healthy. Mm. I was literally just getting up, slinging my work gear on, getting in the car, yeah. and going straight. That's what in. I do. That's literally no, what I do. There was no pause. There was no preparation for the day, nah. or get my mind right, or setting my expectations for the uh, for the day. That wasn't there. So automatically as soon as I got in that car it didn't matter what I put on the radio or what I put on as a podcast my thoughts would drift towards yeah. the negatives um, and the bad things in my life and the, the sinking pit of despair as, as yeah. they describe it and I think that is this is only my personal experience not an expert or anything but I generally believe we become addicted to our emotions and and, we do, yeah. Yeah, and it, and it becomes it. a habit and then you go on this never ending loop of mm-hmm. negativity yeah. And the, and your your comfort zone is to go back to that. Oh man, and and, and I, I've been there myself, and I was so like caught up to it that feeling happy or anything felt uncomfortable because being negative was my yeah. comfort space. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This fucked up as that sounds. I, I even had, I had moments some days when I was really bad. I'd actually get to work and I'd I'd have tears coming down my face. Mm. That was how low I was. But then I'd sit in the car park, I'd look at where the entrance was, and I'd just think no. Fuck this! Just get your shit together. Yeah. Wipe your face. Put your belt on. Get into work, and that just goes. Mm. You're going to work mode, but you, it always comes back. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? yeah. And 
until I started to get more focused on my preparations for the day and, and how I think about things and how I manage yeah. myself a lot better. Yeah, um, and the, the the dip and just being more mindful of myself in the mornings. Yeah, um, yeah, a, mor- a, a morning routine is yeah, so crucial. Routine. And yeah. like, like you should definitely start doing like cold showers even, or something. Even if it's at just least. one little thing that you add in that's different, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, you, you know exactly. You you start to notice a change no, just in your head. your um, your perception of your things and, and how you're thinking about yourself, your own personal sort of um, mm-hmm. awareness. And set your alarm and put it on the other side of the room as well. If you sit there snoozing and start thinking negatively in that trance state, you're fucked. Yeah. Your whole day's ruined. You start yeah. your day off. Never it. snooze that alarm. Wake no, up yeah. straight away. Fuck yeah. Because yeah. it, it is scientifically out. proven as well. If you snooze and go back into a half sleep, yeah. half awake, it takes about four to five hours for your brain to wake up properly again it's after mad, that. Yeah, so we, when you're only functioning on half a brain, Especially me when I've only got half a brain. <laughs> you fucking the odds are against you, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. mate. Yeah, but definitely. Uh, where where did the, this depression come from? Then do you think? The start. So of... I had a counsellor when I moved down here. I had a counsellor for about a good couple of months, and we were trying to just like determine this. And I say it was in high school. Mm. My anxiety was building up from then because my mum, bless her, she put a roof on my head and everything but we had no spare cash mm. like I, I, we wouldn't have money to buy nice clothes like all my mate is wearing mm-hmm. do you know what I mean like if I would get a nice pair of trainers once in a blue moon for my mum like bloody hell I'd have to wear I'd have to show them. do you know what I mean yeah, and yeah. it was that anxiety of what people thought of me in school yeah. do you know what I mean like, like, they, like I was trying to be this big guy you know I am mm-hmm. where, where did you grow up I grew up in oh moved about that's the other thing as well I moved about we moved about so it was like it's rich then we found a home over in Missley, Missley, where I spent pretty much my whole, like, from year three till the end of school. That was Missley. And then we moved back to Ipswich. Then I followed my mum to Colchester. So I've moved about a lot. Yeah. And then like that probably didn't help because I wasn't in, We weren't stable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And talking making away, new friends. Yeah. Do you know when you were young, friends. having a stable, yeah. like, yeah. home, rela- like family. Do you know what I mean? Friendship, massive groups. friendship. Yeah. I was fortunate enough. My friendship group never changed from year three. Yeah. Like my best mate, I still speak to from year three to this day. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And that was the, that's the most important thing. Was your old man present? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. my old man was. So my old man's a he's a, he's a boy. He's a bit of an old boy. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like he's, he's a funny one. You know what I mean? And I I I do have a relationship with him, but I won't go. Are they not together I'm here? Always, no, 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 no. My mum no. and dad split when I was five. Yeah, my, yeah. As I say, my mum was a single parent from five till. Yeah. Well, she got married about eight years ago now. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, I, my mum was always jumping out of relationships, mm-hmm. moving in with fellas, moving out. Like it just didn't work. And that impacted you? Yeah, it probably did. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm not around stability. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, and as soon as like that sort of thing throws you off, you're fucking. Mm. that's probably where it stemmed from you know Mm -hmm. and my family so my mum has a history with depression like when I was young I used to sit on the end of the bed she'd be in tears sort of thing because obviously no we didn't have a lot of money she was struggling like to put a roof over her head is it just you? no I've got an older brother as well and he's got autism so there he is like every weekend like you know what I mean like one day he's alright next day he's like trying to punch head in and stuff Mm. do you know what I mean? So it's hard, hard for your mum. But yeah, yeah, it's mad because my brother at school, he was told that he would never be like independent, and here he is living in a, living by himself in his own place. Like I'm quite proud of my brother and what he's yeah. done. Do you know what I mean? Like he's got a stable job in the NHS. He's living the dream. Yeah, nice. And he lives around the corner from me. I never see him. Really? Yeah, <laughs> he lives like. Well, yeah, is that part? I've never really had a relationship with him. You know, mm. I think we're too we're we're chalk and cheese. Like if you think what I am I'm fat short like loud everyone knows I'm in the room mm. compared to my brother he's tall skinny no one talks to him do you know what I mean yeah opposite Talk proper yeah. Talk, talk, like down to everything I don't think we've got a single thing in common yeah. do you know what I mean it's yeah. mad but yeah so when when you say you had anxiety it affects people in different ways doesn't it what what was your anxiety oh, I worry, worry mate mm. I worry about everything I worry about you know what shoes I've got on, what socks I've got on, because yeah. that was a major thing as well. I was buying like designer socks. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I was scared people would judge me on my socks. And yeah. when I had that talk, when I was with that therapist, that's what we were talking about. I was like, I just worry about everything, like yeah. what people think of me. I used to have massive worry, uh, money worries. Like I'll get paid, 
and I'll be worrying about fucking hell that's not going to last me I'm mm. not getting paid like a couple not hundred quid not when you're quid. fucking buying designer socks <laughs> do you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. it's bad isn't it and yeah. I'm sitting there like fuck I'm worrying about everything and to it like it's got better now because I don't have money money issues or yeah. worry about do you, money are you still quite materialistic do you worry about that sort of thing no, I, no. I stopped caring do yeah. you know what I mean I used to you sweat like, peace in that. Do you know like I used to sweat like what's that? Did you find peace in that when you stopped caring? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, and that's it. You just yeah. got like no one cares really. Like yeah. no one really cares. Like I don't like I've walked in there in like pajamas. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. They're not pajamas. They're shorts. But <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean? I just don't care. And like do you know what? Like, that's really helped me to like just realize like don't not care. And that my anxiety pushed me to sweat loads. I I was I used to drip of sweat. Mm. Like walking down the road, I'd be sweating because I've been worried about what people mm. think of me. And the more I worry, the more I swear. More happens, and yeah. the more, and the worse and worse it gets. So I walk to college at once every morning, and I'll be dripping of sweat, and I wouldn't be hot. And I'll get get off, get in the car, and I'll have sweat patches, and I'll worry about that. So I'll be sweating more. Yeah. And I'll be. Oh. And it's fun, eh? Your mind can play tricks. Yeah, and that's that. the worst thing. I'm like, oh yeah. god, why am I? What, like? what? So what age was this when it was at its worst? Because I remember you telling me a story when we worked together that you you did actually try and take the lot. Yeah, you, loads, you were, loads. I was doing it for about a month pills, straight. Right, yeah. So I was in a relationship, and it was like a really toxic, like very toxic relationship. Like, mate, the stuff that happened. In that, in those two years, I would never want to live through again. You know, I was self-harming. You know what I mean? I was like sleeping in my car. I would, I would go to, I would sleep in my car, go to work, go home for a period of time because I was, I was, I wasn't having a relationship with my mum or my stepdad at the time. I'd go home, get in that cupboard, fucking grab whatever pills I could, da 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 da, drink, 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 water, and just like lie there and sleep, and like hope I wouldn't wake up. And that went for every day for about a month straight, mm. just hoping I wouldn't wake up. Every so I'll get home from work about two o'clock, do that, go to bed about half two, and hope I never wake up. And there was a a time when I've I had I've had this argument with the girl at the time, really bad. Like, mate, honestly, I just wanted to go you know, like jump off the oil bridge. Mm. But I was like, fuck it, now. Nah. Go to that cupboard. I grabbed fucking the whole pack of painkillers, the whole pack of self. Um, whether it was sertraline, that yeah. antidepressant, yeah, whole pack of, yeah. yeah, whole pack of that, whole pack of the sleeping tablets they prescribed me, pop the fucking lot, and I'm talking everything in that cupboard I, yeah. I took that day, and I felt myself going really dizzy, and I was like, this is it, and the maddest thing happened, my mate knocked at my door, my best mate, who I'd met in year three, knocked at my door that day, and I'm like, what? Like, I'm so dizzy, and my phone's going, he calls me up, I'm outside your house, we're going out. I'm like, what? Are you serious? And I've gone out and I don't remember leaving. I don't remember leaving the door mm-hmm. till I got back that day. And he said, you, mate, you were hanging out the window. You were throwing up. You were like, you weren't, you weren't seeing straight. Apparently I took a, a girl at my work, flowers. Like, do you know what I mean? And I, I was so like out of it. Mm. And I got home, I went to bed and woke up. And I say to this day, he saved my life. Because mm. I felt like if I let my body to switch off there, I mm. don't know what I would have woken up to. Did you go to the hospital or anything? Yeah, so that happened, and then I'd done it a few more times, and then I went to work once, and I felt really sick the next day, and my manager sent me home, because she kind of had an idea what was going on, and my mum was like, what are you doing home? And I was like, I've just been doing this. And she took me into hospital, and they'd done all the checks and everything, Mm. and fuck the NHS, they were terrible. Like, they just put me in this psycho ward, and I'm sitting there, like this, like just normal, like being myself. And there's a guy, who's, like this room's empty and the guy's sat next to me and he's like this, like itching. And mm. I'm just like, nah, this ain't me, this ain't me. Mm. So he's like, what are you in here for? I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's uh, been trying to kill us. He's like, oh, that's good. Yeah. Like, you, how's that good? You, yeah, <laughs> you but you say that, that you, that's, you were normal, but if you were taking uh, loads of tablets to try and kill yourself then you were effectively out, yeah. out of your mind as well right, right? I, yeah, so. honestly there was times in that period where I didn't know what I was doing yeah do you know what so, I mean so what was kind of the, the turning point what, when, when did you finally realise you wanted to what top yourself no oh. like, get, when you getting to out of, getting out of it yeah, you, oh. so you spoke to your mum and you just said yeah do you know what, so my mum's found out she took me to hospital we've gone home and she's like you need to go down to Felix though for a few days and spend some time with your auntie and uncle and I sat there and I was with my auntie and uncle and I never moved, I never come back. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like I knew then and there this is where I wanted to be, like around my family. Like 
See, the problem was like my stepdad at the time, he didn't really know how to react to what I was doing. So he would come home about half two and then like sometimes open the bedroom door and see me like lying there fucking like, probably like a spacko, like mm. dribbling probably or something. And he would see that and just shut the door because I, I didn't, I don't really know that he knew how to react to it. Like, what do you do when someone's like that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, and then like sometimes, like I, f- they felt like I turned the corner. Yeah. So I'm actually backtracking a bit. So I was doing this, and then they they said, look, we need you to stop doing these stupid hours because I was doing stupid hours at work as well. We need to stop doing that, and just concentrate on yourself and do yourself so I come home do everything and then there was one night I went out at four o'clock at night and I was working till four and I come back and the door was like jarred shut because he put a chair in front of it which is understandable he's literally just said stop fucking messing about coming home at four o'clock every mm. night like concentrate on yourself and I've done that and he's put a door onto the chair and I was like that's it yeah mm. and then I moved down here bosh changed my life so when you told your mum when he forced you to his hospital did you feel a big sense of relief no 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 I didn't want to go no but do, just telling her how no, you were feeling I didn't feel any mm. relief at all really there was no relief I think I felt more relief telling my best mate about a year after really that was more more the relief so you're still having these thoughts today yeah but they're not obviously as intense no and you they're not intense at all do you know what I mean like I've learned to li- you don't ever I feel like you don't ever lose lose it do you know what I mean it's always there in the back of your mind mm. and now you just learn to live with it and you learn to grow with it and that's what I've done yeah do you know and, and it, like really I at, think you can lose it because I, I used to have thoughts for because I used to use it as an anchor and I, a thought would come in my head like oh I'll kill myself and, that, and but it was more of a passing thought there was a couple of times where yeah. things got really dark but it was a passing thought, like as if a, a comfort blanket, like, oh, things get much worse and I feel much worse. I can and do that, it and not act on it. But I don't get that anymore since well, yeah. I started doing cold water. So I think you can change your your thought process. Like I say, you get stuck on a loop after yeah, a while. And exactly. it's become habit now. Yeah. And all you've got to do is break that habit. It sounds easier said than done, but it really is if you just switch up a few things. But what I had to do and what a lot of people that do the dips and that had to do is things what they were doing in the mornings or in the evenings and everything take a look at it it's not working for you you're still getting these thoughts change a couple of things up and then if if, if that works yeah. or it don't mix a couple of other things do you get what I mean? yeah yeah I'm going to set you a challenge oh fuck it there I'm we gonna, go I'm going to set you a challenge to do a 30 day cold showers and and get you back on here I'll we'll come see. down and do the dip with you yeah we'll do that as well yeah do you know what I mean I've always thought about it ever since you I'll, mentioned that I want to set you a challenge right to, to do some form of cold water therapy you can start in the next couple of days or something but especially if you're having these thoughts but set you some sort of challenge where you either have a cold shower each day but commit to it in your head before you do it cold shower or a dip and I guarantee you right now that it, it will change your life because it's not just work for me it's work for so many yeah, other yeah. people as well I always thought that so I tried to like the other, the thing so I've tried to been changing up a bit like I've got back into rugby now I play rugby I go to training that's been trying to help me because I was getting fat as fuck. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I spend my life taking pictures of chocolate for a living now. All I fancy is chocolate sometimes. Yeah. And I'm just get, I'm st- I'm getting fat as it is. And I, I thought I need to do something. So I play rugby and that's helped me. But Exercise gets them. Yeah, dope, do you know what I mean? And it's, it's like not enough. Yeah. I want more, I want more, I want more. You, you the, mentioned you'd um, engaged with a therapist before. Yeah, yeah. How, how did that go? Oh, yeah, that's good. If I, I say if anyone's in that sort of rut, the best thing to do is if you can afford it get a private was it expensive then was it or you're probably looking at 50 to 40 to 50 pound a session mm. I was lucky enough my auntie paid for that at the time because mm-hmm. I was worrying about money then mm. do you know what I mean I was off sick for about a month and I, was, I had no cash sometimes mm. and she paid for it and that, that, that made wonders and like what did you learn from your therapy then what did what sort where, of where I was going wrong in life, life. like what was I I just needed someone to tell me but like, I knew what was going on like I need to get myself out away from this toxic relationship. I need to like just drift away from everything and change my life. Yeah. And that's what I've done. Like I changed my life. So I, I moved to Felix though and I got a new I I was in the same job but I got a different job somewhere else where it's less stressful and I just changed my life and started again. I was lucky enough and I was young enough yeah. that I could do that. People out there are not young enough or like can afford to do that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I was so lucky to have that time and 
it's fate because it's a mad it's mad because when I changed my life I now I met the girl I met this girl that now I'm going to marry and spend the rest of my life with yeah. because do you know what I mean like, I was in such a bad place and then to find like this angel yeah. do you know what I mean in the middle of nowhere like never expected it and it's yeah. changed my life completely you're obviously meant to be here for a reason hey, and, and that's it fucking popping pills it's, like that yeah, yeah, it's yeah, fate I mean? it's honestly yeah. fate so but you do need to secure you and work hard at it now because if you've yeah. got a, a mind like that and, and you're not working on yourself and something yeah, does exactly. go wrong in the future, you don't want to be back no, at square you one. So you've got there's something that you do have to work on yeah. every day. You've got to give yourself the best chance at the end of the day and it's not easy, but mix a few things up. Start fucking doing a bit more like you rugby helped you yeah, exactly. so, and if that's helping you that my mindset is oh because I was the same I started fucking working out at the gym I thought oh that's yeah. helping so I'll go on walks and that's helping cold showers work so I'm going to fucking jump in the sea do you know what I mean always trying to improve always well, trying to go yeah, on momentum I, mean, I think that's something that I touched on last night when we was, we were speaking with Nick I think um, that for me my mental health is a daily thing that I have to keep in check mm. and similar to you like you say you regularly feel that way well, there's methods and there's things that you can do to try and help support that or to, to make things better or so you don't have those regular thoughts and that you're you function a lot better as a person you mm. just you, you, if, if you're able to sort of set them barriers and then definitely yeah you, you can you, you yeah. can you can make things a lot easier and, for and, yourself and you've got to still do it on the days even when you feel all right and think yeah. oh, i feel all right today i'm not yeah. going to do it today still i still get in the cold do. water or go yeah. to the gym because it's an investment on my mental health do you know what i mean is it if even if I don't feel like doing it and I feel right mentally now, I know that workout or that cold dip is going to do me wonders for the next day or two. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Got to stay consistent, and I always say it, but consistency is key, especially with, with tools. You do, everyone, I think, needs to, whatever works for them, but build up this little toolbox and have yeah. three or four things that, that helps with this, because if this ain't right, nothing else is. is no. And that's not nothing else if my mind ain't right my fucking work ethic ain't right me fucking cooking ain't right me me fathering ain't right it affects everything mm. do you know what I mean so it's so important to work on this yeah, consistently definitely. definitely and enjoy the little things as well yeah. yeah do you know what I mean like I work on a Sunday down at Tesco delivering shopping yeah. and when it's sunny and that sun's out and you're fucking in that you're just driving along windows down listening to music just enjoy yeah, enjoy, enjoy it your present yeah. do you know what I mean like you don't People say, oh, I've got to spend, probably spend some money to enjoy myself. No, you don't. There's so yeah. much stuff out there to do for free. Walks. It's practicing yeah. mindfulness and that as well, like being present in that moment and really yeah. taking a minute to enjoy it. And even like, like that, that's why I've had to stop coffee for a couple of days. I don't take the time to enjoy anything these days. I fucking throw it, I mean, that food, throw yeah. it, I mean, that. we're always in such a rush. If you just sit there one time and just enjoy and practice mindfulness of sipping a, a cup of coffee for, and, and enjoying it and being present in that moment, just being present for two minutes in that moment can do wonders for your mental health for, for okay. the next week or two. Do you know what I mean? And it is trying to recognise that and keep going with that sort of thing. Enjoy yeah. the bite of food. Don't just scoff it down. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying Enjoy to say? Enjoy those that? 20 chicken nuggets at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was me earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scoffing her 20 yeah. nuggets. Yeah. See, that's the thing as well. Is So with my new partner, I've got, I'm converting to Islam. Okay which is a whole new depth of different challenges mm -hmm. do you know what I mean so like it's cutting out like alcohol and bacon and everything which yeah. is not a bit I'm not a heavy drinker as it is I don't really drink yeah like I'll I have a few beers here and there but I'm not like every week I need a drink yeah but same with pork like, I can, so you never that never was a factor when it comes to your kind of anxiety and the nah, I, I, turned I, to alcohol drugs nah like none that. of that it was more of the fact I just wanted to pop pills actually tell a lie when I was at uni so I was fucking on the smoke yeah. every weekend when I oh, well, weed and that, yeah, yeah weed every week I thought do you know what that ain't there do no nah no and I was oh this this is a mess so every weekend I'll go out I, I start getting a flavour for it every weekend I really want to smoke weed and I was smoking weed and on the drive home was probably the worst ever. Sometimes I'll be over that old well bridge and I'm gonna fuck, I was, park, yeah. I was parking up. Do you know what but mean? if you've already got a, a mental issue like Never, that, don't, don't that, touch it. That <laughs> weed and fucking booze is don't just fuel it. to the fire. Don't man. touch it. it. And, it uh, and I've said plenty of times in posts and stuff, it is a yeah. quick fix because if you have a, a spliff or a drink, it takes that problem away briefly 
but yeah. it fucking brings it mate, back twice I, as bad. Well, three times. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've had a smoke sometimes. I've left my mate at Matry up and I'm driving home, which is the worst bit. Fucking not seeing straight at all. And all in my head, in the back of my head, I'm worrying about every little detail of yeah. my life. And I'm talking normally, like every morning I worry. But when I was stoned, I was worrying about every little detail. Mm. And then I'll get to a stage and I'll fall asleep and I'll spank the curb or go over the lines in my car. Like I fucked my car because mm. I, I was so, I was stoned and I just fucking fell asleep. Mm. I spanked the curb and I, having that worry there. And Do you smoke weed now? Then? Now, now yeah. I quit. So yeah. my job, I drive. Yeah. If, I lo- if I lost my license, that'd be me kaput. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean? I would be, yeah. fuck, I would be back in that rut and I said, you know what, quit that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Concentrate on my relationship, concentrate on my future yeah yeah it's about setting goals and and, and, and that as well isn't yeah. it like like get rid of it, recognise things that don't serve you and fucking remove them like like fucking alcohol fucking weed like yeah. even 20 nuggets like, after yeah. you eat them it, it make you feel like <laughs> you shit don't need it yourself, yeah. don't you it? don't it's need like, it yeah. once in a blue moon go treat yourself to a McDonald's yeah. but week in week out don't do it yeah. Yeah. I've cut, I'm have cut. i trying to cut all that shit I'm, out I'm always removing stuff putting it back in seeing how I feel analysing myself and everything and, and mixing things up constantly that's why I'm not doing the coffee now no sugar no bread and everything and I feel better if something beneficial to me I'll keep it in, in, in my armour yeah. if, if it, I didn't make notice much of a difference I'll, I'll add something back and take it out and that. but we've always got to be searching looking for answers that, that suit us because everyone's different as well do you know what I mean but food and stuff as well I think I'm starting to realise now You are, that's been a big vice of mine since I give up drinking and drugs I, I've just fucking focused on eating and, yeah. and I've ate a lot but I've not been eating a lot of the right stuff since just so only a week since I started eating right, I've noticed a massive difference, like with energy and stuff like that. I felt a bit more anxious, and I, and I'm going to see how I feel the next week, and I'm still going to eat good and that. But I've got a funny feeling that I'm going to feel a lot better yeah, once I push will. past this stage. Right you know food, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just unco- you have to be uncomfortable a little bit first yeah, to push through, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Your so beard looks sick. I'll keep, I'll forget, I'll keep that, forgetting that, we're in a. We're, I was thinking, like, it, it looks sharp. We're in it? a beer competition. I'll just keep, I'll keep oh, forgetting that we're How's my beard coming on compared to you two? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks sick as well, mate. Looking yeah, fresh. Yeah, lovely. Oh, yeah, yeah. haircut. Yeah. See, I'm really excited for Ramadan. I've got, so I'm, this is my yeah, first ever yeah, Ramadan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I said to my partner, I said, I'm going to do it this year. Do you mm. know what I mean? And like all my mates are like you're you're fat. So, so so Ramadan is that where you don't eat? Yeah, you you fast from sun so sunrise to sunset. Yeah. So for instance, so my it's partner. It's meant to be very very healthy way of living. Really healthy. My partner wakes up about half four, eats, and then goes back to bed for a bit and wakes up and goes to work. And that's the bit I'm going to struggle with is going back to sleep after I've woken up and eaten. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like I'm I'm excited, but. I used to do that. I'm nervous. Wake up at four, have something to eat, go back. But I didn't do the fasting bit. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Like, you got, you got, yeah. you got, she doesn't. Um, she doesn't have water. She goes the whole shebang. Oh, really? She. I'm. Um, I, I'm. I'm. I like. I'm reciting the Quran at the minute, and I'm like, it doesn't say in the Quran you can't have water. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just like, yeah, but I've done it all my life. I'm doing it, and I'm like, you know what? That's fine. Yeah. I'm gonna, I could drink some water when you're not looking or something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, I I am so like m- like amazed at how she does it. Mm. Is it? I, I'm always needing a drink. Do you know what I mean? I've always got a bottle of water on the go or something. Yeah, like I that. think that water's quite a healthy choice. Yeah. Certainly way to make it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A bottle of uh, Prime now. I keep on getting yeah. those Prime bottles there. Now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not full in the fridge. Oh, I can't wait to crack with yeah. them. No wonder no one else can fucking get them. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, they're all in my yeah. fridge. Yeah, yeah. but um. Yeah, honestly, I'm well excited to do because that that's gonna change the whole perspective. Of you, life. you should generally keep, try and keep a journal of of when you're fasting and that, and just see if, how it makes your mood feel. Yeah. Everything. It'd be good to look back on after That'd because be it might be something you want. I might be I might be yeah. fucking miserable to be honest. Yeah, that's gonna be well, the worst. Well, you probably thing. will be to start with because it's a big change, isn't I it? I get so angry. Yeah. Like, like, you've got to be careful with what you break your fast with as well. Yeah, you got to make sure it's like. Yeah. Nutrition. If you haven't eaten for a certain amount of times and you fucking start smashing in a load of sugar, it can fuck yeah. with your electrolytes and it can cause you serious health problems. Mate, or just, I've already or got even death. <laughs> I've, got, I've got oats and everything in the morning. Yeah. I get those, get those slow burners going and I'm yeah. just going to fucking pick out. The best thing going. to break your fast with is a bit of broth, apparently. Bone broth. 
or something. Broth? Yeah. What, like, the, you talk about a drink? Yeah, swing it. But, nah. but you just, like, drink it. Um, That's what you get at the old football matches, isn't it? But a little, <laughs> little can of broth? It's, it's, it is like stock. Yeah, like stock beef it is, Yeah, so because it, it settles all your electrolytes down, apparently, and then you can eat, like, a decent meal after that. Uh, okay. <laughs> 20 nuggets it is. <laughs> 20 yeah, nuggets, yeah, double yeah. cheeseburger, yeah, 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 yeah. boy. Potato yeah. avatar. <laughs> yeah. Right. But yeah, man, I'm all excited for that. Yeah, so what, well, you made a conscious choice of doing that, did you? Well, I've, like, do you know what? I'm going to do it for the rest of my life, but I'm like, right, I might as well start now. Yeah. Might as well just start now. See how I go, do you know what I mean? If I do the first couple of days, I think no this is tough I've got to keep going yeah. if I break if I just can't do it on the first day fuck, what's the point yeah. do you know what I mean well I've, I've not done that but I've done intermittent fasting in the past and you get you, you get hungry which I found was quite interesting but the, you, that feeling of hunger you get in your stomach is the acid starting to build yeah. up to break food down because it knows your cycle of what time you normally eat Mad. but after a couple of it's uncomfortable for a few days but after that time you, yeah, um, they say it's the first yeah, three you days. You start getting hungry at the times you normally eat, so your yeah. body gets used to it. Yeah. You know? I mean, and after a while, you get, you find your energy levels yeah. up as well. Well, you get new energy. With fasting, it's fascinating. I've done loads yeah. of research on it. We actually aren't meant to eat as much as what we do. You're meant to no, eat every few we're, days. We're, we're cavemen. We're, we're hunters. hunters. Well, yeah, we can't yeah. Gather, yeah. Gather as well. We'd go days without a, a decent yeah. meal. Yeah, and when you get to a certain time into your fasting, mm -hmm. your body releases a chemical around your body to get you active and moving yeah. to get ready for the hunt <laughs> it's fucking it's insane isn't it, it but is we, the only fucking hunting we do you know fucking going up Tesco's and getting a chocolate muffin oh, or something Tesco's yeah. just up the road yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> short, short oh, walk away last yeah. time I went in there with a spear <laughs> thing going <laughs> <over>. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's, there's method to it definitely. yeah my yeah. mate my mate does it he fasts mm. he, he literally wakes up breakfast fast yeah. sometimes not even breakfast he literally fasts away at 6 o'clock at night Every every he does it Monday to Friday. Yeah, I just listened to the new Trends. Tony Robinson audio. It's like a twenty-three hour audio book, and it's all to do with like breakthroughs in medicine and science and stuff like that. But he talks about the healthy, all healthy foods and everything in it, which has inspired me to stop the sugar and breads and stuff. That's why I'm doing it. But he he talks about fasting and stuff in it as well, and there's all sorts of benefits to it. Yeah. It's like spiking insulin and stuff like that. It's, it, it it is one of the most healthiest ways you can live. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I'm excited. That's what I mean. I'm excited to do it to see if it does, if I have this transformation. So yeah. Well, not a transformation. I might have a, like a bit of an epiphany as well, thinking like, what am I doing in my life? Mm. I won't ever be able to convert or do you know what I mean, like be like this Muslim. Mm. But yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, it is. Right, it's all the it's that that's it's the anxiety as well. But it's exciting for life as well. Yeah, the rest of my life. Do, do, do you know what I mean? I, I think um, obviously you start the podcast talking about. You know these feelings of want to kill yourself, and that's something that you've had to battle with for a long, long period of your life. But the way you're talking about the last sort of ten, fifteen minutes has been all the yeah. future. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. yeah that's nice. it. I've just set there, myself. Yeah. I'm set. I'm trying to set myself up for life. You yeah. know, I've got like, like I've got a like, amazing girl. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, she's she, we're and the thing is as well like. I'm finding someone who's on the same path as you yeah. was key for me. Like mm -hmm. I've met girls that just want to flash it about, like have the big cars and all this, and mm -hmm. I just show what they're worth. And like my partner now is like, she don't care. You know where you're both heading together. Yeah, well, and do you know what I mean? We want the same house, we yeah. want the same mm -hmm. jobs, we want this, we want that, and yeah. it's all the same. And which we, which is weird because we got nothing in common. Mm. Like we were talking about the other day, we don't like the same music, we don't like the same movies. Don't like the yeah, same some, sports. Sometimes opposites attract. And that's it. And that's yeah. it. We don't like anything at all. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I put up with her music. She puts up with my music in the car. She puts up with my films. She can't stand a film because she's got a, like a attention span of a sieve. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> she'll just sit there on the phone. But yeah, man. Yeah. All it's all about just getting on that same path. Yeah, Maybe. definitely, mate. Definitely. Well, I will do the thirty days challenge with you if you want to do it in the sea. But I want well, me to... and you down the sea every morning. What yeah. times? Half six. Uh, we could do it half seven if you wanted. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, no, it's half six. Mate, I'll start when half I Half six weekdays, half seven um, weekends. Earlier the better, mate. Yeah, half yeah. six. Yeah. I'll, I'll do a 30, I'll get in contact with you and I'll do that 30 day challenge with you yeah but we've got to commit to it and do it together and we'll do it every <laughs> day freeze my nuts off and yeah. all do you know what I mean? so then, first you, then we'll have you come back on here we'll yeah. have you come back on here and you, no, can, and you can see how you um, um, see how see what how difference is I might have got a great idea yeah yeah are you getting involved there eh? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few dips. Yeah. Yeah, because you've got everything good going for you. You just sometimes great. get caught up in the, in yeah, a loop. Just, and, and just that focus. morning. And I just, as you say, I do, I do what you do and I wake up, I go to work. Mm. I, no, I wake up, shower, go to work. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's my life. I don't even eat. In the mornings when you do this, this, these dips, I think you do the dips and the, and what I do, I do that breathing thing and then I, and while I'm, while I'm laying there doing this breathing exercise, I think of things I'm grateful for and it sounds simple, but an attitude of gratitude and that's what I've learned since I've been in recovery and everything. And if you start focusing on the things you're grateful for, we stop focusing so much on the things that we're not and what we haven't got, you know? So it's just about, it's the daily struggle, mate. It's, 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 getting up and doing it yeah, each day but it's yeah. it's worth it and if you can start the fucking day right win the morning win the day that's what they say so. win the morning win the day yeah fuck I'm gonna use that yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use that don't fucking yeah. use it mate fucking do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah thank you very much thank Harry. you Harry thank you, you so much legend thank you